Space Candy. He's a candy guy in space. He combs the galaxy like his silky pink hair on the hunt for bounties. Planet after planet, he searches, discovering bizarre new creatures, both friendly and not. These are the spectacular adventures of Space Candy and his brave space crew in space. No dress, no play, no kissing Terrence. How could it get any worse? Candy! Oh, I spoke too soon. What do you want, Cringe? Say, I have gotten to know just about everyone on this rocket but you. <laughs> what do you say we have a little chit-chat? Not interested. Oh, come on. Open up a bit about yourself. All I got so far is that you're a closeted homosexual who is extremely obsessed with Terrence. And that is all you'll ever know about me. I did hear something about your sister. You shut the hell up about that. How the fuck do you know? Why, Cowboy Gastro filled me in with a short summary. Something like Sandy, was it? <laughs> now, why don't you finish the story so I can get all the little pieces put together? No, never. What is your deal? Leave me the fuck alone. Fine. Play it your way. I'll find out one way or another. Attention crew, I'm going to make a small pit stop to the nearest gas station. So, dare I ask if you would like a candy bar, please go to the hatch now. Oh boy, what a rush. Uh, hey Candy, you coming to get a candy bar? No, I can't. Not now. Y you alright? Why do you care? You sure as hell don't mind telling strangers shit they have no right to know. Huh? What in Sam Hill are you talking about? You went and flapped your gums to cringe and told him about Sandy. What the fuck is wrong with you? C Candy, he's one of us now. I trusted him enough. Besides, that was 20 years ago. I thought by now you were over it. Well, newsflash, cowboy. I'm not over it, okay? I dyed my hair and dressed in blue and pink to remind me of her. I, I kept going on till this day. But not for you, Gastro, Terrence, or even me. I do it for her. She told me in her dying moments to remember who she was to me. Not the world, but how can I when I never even knew who she really was? Candy, I I'm sorry. <sighs> no, you're not. Just go. Go get gas station flushes with your new best friend, Cringe. Candy, I said I'm sorry. Go! <sighs> hey, cowboy. What, what's wrong? Oh, I... I really fucked up is all. Cringe, when I say that candy bars are the greatest thing since sliced poop, I mean it is the greatest thing since sliced poop. The succulent chocolate bars from the heavens are my only weaknesses. They also make me release some chocolate bars myself, oftentimes from the depths of hell. <laughs> well, if they're as yummy yummy in my tummy as you say, I cannot wait for some skibbity-licious candy bars, Gastro. 
All right, crew, are we all set? Hey, where's Candy? Yeah, I need some time alone. Probably jacking off to that picture again. What picture? Actually, never mind. I don't want to know. Let's just go in and out. We are in. Now you're out. Bugger me, having to slave our asses all the way into space is bloody piss. Huh? What the? These are guys. Yours? Yeah! We are bounty hunters for hire! Sent to capture these fiends and take them back to our planet Earth! That's Terrence! Terrence Suave! A fine job well done, mate. Knocking them all out for us. Now, if you don't mind allowing us to take them from you. Oh, of course, of course. We all gonna make a living. They're all yours. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> Load them up, Slinky. Right away, sir. Just got a report that Jed and Samuel are closing in on the targets. Sir, we just got a report from space. Uh, was it Hayden? N no, sir. It was from that one Godwhacker guy. He claims to have captured the president and his men. What? Are, are you serious? This is major. I, I can't believe it. And who'd have thought that they'd be the ones to do it way quicker than all your boys after all, Hank? But, but, that's impossible. I hired those men for the damn job, and they were right there. Besides, how are we to believe if this so-called god whacker is even telling the truth? Well, Mr. Everest, sir, how about you ask them yourself? These them? Oh, man, not Jed and Samuel. But, why, yes. They are! You managed to actually do it! I can't believe it! I take you got my distress call and all, right? How did you track them down? Not important. Now, where's my payment? Well, seeing you went above and beyond here, you brought them, Hank's men, and the missing girl, Adeline, I, I say you deserve a very fair reward. Ah, ah! Stop right there! This isn't all of them! What? Huh? You're missing one! And I should know who it is, because huh, I got typed too many words! F you're missing one! And I should know who it is, seeing he used to work for me. Who? Candy Cotton! What? Wait a minute, now that you mention it, he isn't here. Are you kidding me? The orders were a beardo, a top hat wearing idiot, a Canadian cowboy, and a twink. I assumed that this guy was the twink. Nope, not him. I've never seen that man before in my life, as a matter of fact. Yeah? Well, what if he died in space and they replaced him with this orange haired idiot? Uh, I hate to butt in, sire, but when I was bringing these men to the cargo hold, I, I noticed the nerdy one there had a cell phone on him, and on it were several selfies of a very twinkish-looking, pink-haired, petite man. I think it was Candy's phone. Yeah, so? Well, there appears to have been a recorded message log just from this morning. What? Aha! Uh -huh. I was right, you idiot, Slinky, and you didn't bother to check the ship! But, 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 sire, you told me to load them on board- Just shut the fuck up. <sighs> Whatever, what I have here is still enough, huh? W with this rabbit-looking alien guy, these other bounty hunters, and this missing girl, what am I looking at? Five million, six million, seven million? Well, unfortunately, you came here without what was asked, so you get nothing. Had you killed Candy, I would have at least paid you in full for the dead fee, but you're missing his right-hand man, essentially, so who knows if the little shithead is scheming right now. Well, shit for brains. I don't see you slaving your ass off in space, hunting criminals in whole other galaxies. No, and Candy, he'll break soon enough. He always comes back to his roots. And knowing how much he loves Terrence, he'll be here in no time. Now, seeing that I knew he was short a person, I'm at least compensated for my knowledge. Mm, no. Damn it! Whatever. I'm not gonna give that little bastard the opportunity to come back to his roots. I'm sending my trusty angel girls after him. Alert them, Slinky. Alerting them right away, sir. Hey, guys. You've all been in the gas station for a while now. Guys? Guys? Oh, no, the fuck you didn't.
I have some candy. 